Another lesson for those high school students who lined up red cups in the shape of a swastika, then posted for pictures at a party and did Nazi salutes. Those controversial photos caused concern, of course, outrage when they surfaced online. That's right. Well, today the teens heard firsthand from a Holocaust survivor and Frank's stepsister about the pain associated with those symbols. And CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live in Corona Del Mar tonight with details on that meeting and a follow up community meeting tonight. Michelle? That's right. That community meeting begins behind me here at Corona Del Mar High School in a half hour. Meantime, this afternoon, that Holocaust survivor, Eva Schloss, told the students who were at that party who she met with face to face that she was their age when the Nazis captured her and put her in the Auschwitz concentration camp. I was surprised, very surprised. Um, that they did uh, answer my question and said they didn't realize what it really meant. Holocaust survivor Eva Schloss, the stepsister of Anne Frank, met with the students who attended a party in Costa Mesa last weekend and were pictured over a makeshift swastika giving Nazi salutes. A few dozen teenagers from Newport Harbor, Costa Mesa and Estancia High Schools have been identified. When I heard about this incident here, I was shocked that in 2019, in a well-educated town, in a very high-educated school, that incidents like this should still happen. As the hateful pictures were shared on social media, outrage in the community spread. Sources tell me that some of the kids have already been suspended, and a student from a private South Orange County school who was at the party has been expelled. A mom with two children at Newport Harbor High supports punishment, but also encourages forgiveness, and she worries about the long-lasting repercussions. Social media is going to come back and bite you if you're not you're not paying attention, and and that might be a consequence for these kids. And if that's the case, that's the case. I. I don't have a problem with that. Eva Schloss told reporters that the kids and the parents apologized to her. This 89 year old survivor says the incident shows that Holocaust education in schools is still inadequate. These particular kids, though, she believes, have learned something. But I think they have learned a lesson for life. I think it is actually. Perhaps it was a good thing that this happened because it has come now in the open. Eva Schloss added that she hopes that people of all ages will watch more movies and read more books about the Holocaust. She also added that the kids told her that they were very, very sorry and that she does believe them. That's the latest live in Corona Del Mar. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.